Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Uh, we just, I mean, it took the whole episode, but uh, this is one of those games where I'm going to get distracted. What can I say? I like, I like to explore. Else, we can't just leave the kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Um. You should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Sure. Nice. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Unless you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking what will tr reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'm, I'm guessing the uh, the hope for this town is that we can persuade them not to complete this ritual and instead Oh, we got more stone do doors down there. Um, and instead, we'll just like fight off the goblin invasion. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Hmm. If we left, we could at least make a point of the discussion. Children! The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. Who? <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Go on. Give me a best shot. Yeah. Not bad. Again. Yo, don't be a show off. just have to buy enough time to run come on i believe in you you can do this uh, it's good advice child you do well to listen hmm. you're on the right path Umi. go on now practice what you've learned well met the blade of frontiers at your sh a man's smile bends downward and his thoughts become you are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Another escapee, thank the gods, I need all the friends I can get. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lipid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. Oh. Threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. The, the real uh, Disco Elysium moments here. Who is she? Hunting in the hell's dangerous territory. I'm no stranger to the infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the mind flayer ship, but the damned elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. 
Let's join forces. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest no. Nah, I I don't want to take on another partner. I'm sorry. I I would love to explore this guy's backstory in a future playthrough. <laughs> Good luck with your devil problem. It seems your work's cut out for you. And call on me if you find a fix for this affliction of ours. Might even join you once that devil's met my blade. He seems like a cool character, though. So far, all of the characters have seemed really neat. I'm taking this potato. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Um. I suggest you do as she says. <laughs> Lower. Wow. Um. Wait for the tiefling to obey. Oh, don't be rude. The map. Show me. <laughs> I'm just like, must you? Must you be a jerk? You can keep your innards. Gee whiz. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Cool your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. I might need to make uh um Asterian or, or uh fourth companion. I just like his whole deal. He's he's not quite a moral uh you know Puritan. He's he's like kind of not a good guy, but I, I like him all the same. We don't have to Oh yeah, isn't this where we this is a restricted area. Time to explain your God damn it. Um, try to talk your way out of it. Ugh. Add bonus. Guidance. Okay. Thank God. I didn't mean to. Okay. I didn't I didn't mean to. I wonder if guidance is a level 1 spell. It doesn't seem like it. It's just a base cantrip. That's good. Ha ha ha. Let's talk to these lads. Can't talk now. Barker needs me. Okay. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Do you plan to be that rough with everyone we meet? Just tell me what's our next move. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Did you say tiefling? I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. 
You will educate me on matters of this Fey run. It's Fey rune. <laughs> what do you mean purification? The crash holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. So, uh, Lazel is really not of this place at all. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. Let me see your wares. Oh, that forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into reverse. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Monsieur Wares. What do you got? Ooh, do you have a battle axe? Oh, that's a halberd. Um, no battle axe, Warhammer. I believe that we are actually proficient with that. Maul, not proficient with that. But I think we could do a Warhammer. However, it does not, uh, no, I guess we don't, we aren't proficient with it. We need a battle axe, like a great axe. Um, ooh, ooh, there we go. It's a bit expensive, but I think we can do it. Um, barter. Damn it. Oh, I see. Now we barter. Oh, I see. We gotta keep pressing that. Damn it. Okay. Um, take these gloves. Uh, all right, take the scroll, fine. There we go. Heck yeah, new axe. Now we're looking like a dwarf. Heavy crossbow, mace, adventurer's chest. Looks like we can look at this. Um, without angering anyone. Don't touch me. Wow. Oh, we're on disadvantage. Interesting. Oh, uh, I guess chain shirt is, um, giving us disadvantage. Not sure why. But I might need to fix that. Well, we still passed. Uh, pleasurable deal. The shocking truth. Send this to Tav. Illustrated Adventures of Baldoran. Healing Potion. I'll take this, but I, I want to read this for a moment. It is a transcript of an interview with the writer and director of A Pleasurable Deal by Mr. Kingsley Harp. And what was the inspiration behind this, if I may be so bold? Um, entirely lewd piece of drama. <laughs> It's about exploring the taboo, seeing who we are as people really are. Yes, Robert makes a deal with a Cambion. Who? But who wouldn't? Well, I like to think most people wouldn't. Then you don't know most people. Everyone wants something. Everyone needs something. Cambions can see it. In a way, they know us better than we know ourselves. But the, at the end of the play, Robert dies horribly. What does that say about what we, as you put it, need? You forget. Robert dies because he broke away from uh, Carla... Carla Carlisle. He didn't say stay true to the deal that they made. So you're encouraging people to, to make a pact with Hell's offspring to give up, as Robert did his soul? 
We only have one life. Why not make the most of it? So what was your deal? I beg your pardon? In fact, this was your directional... Directorial debut, wasn't it? You couldn't even get published in the tabloid Balder Bash before this play came out. Did you honestly trade your soul for an erotic play? I... Alright, we're done here. That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure I already talked to these guys. There's some merchants down here. We should have left by now. Damn it. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. Um Why the rush to leave? You don't understand. My apprenticeship with the Roakan begins shortly. I cannot be late. Yes. That Laroican, the greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Um, Baldurian is this Laroican of Ramazith's tower. His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Hmm. Let's see what the some of these merchants have to offer. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Take a bowl. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run and run hard. If a knob catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Gruel. <laughs> You've had your share. Leave some for the rest. I was wondering if I thought they were a merchant. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. I'm <laughs> not grumpy. You came along when you oh what interesting to see you strutting about in the sun ain't seen that before and auntie ethel's seen her fair share still you're looking a little pasty love i've just the thing to perk you up um let her f fuss over you sure Rain, sweetie. Uh, drink the potion. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. It's been better. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. Jesus. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Something doesn't add up about this one. Don't tell her anything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Um, there's nothing wrong, I swear everything's fine. As you wish, Petal. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. What harm? Show me your wares. Hey, bother. Potion of invis invisibility. A, another staff. Um, some minor ingredients, which I wouldn't mind making use of. Uh, we basically have no money left. Take care now, sweetie. All right, let's, um, I was kind of hoping to find some quests here. We can go over here. Whoops. 
Let's let's go east. Oh, there's another. There's a secret door. I'm looking at the complete wrong direction. All right, let's. We're gonna go this way. I just want to see if I can see everything. Asteria needs to level up also. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Grunt. He's still staring right past you. Turn around to see what he's looking at. See nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Study the rocks for a secret passage. Good thing we had advantage. Lock picking impossible. Tongs, anything are these are these good? Medium armor, not proficient with medium armor. Strength saving throws plus one. These guys are also merchants? Oh yeah, take the ring. Nice sleight of ham. Hammers flourish. Uh, I never learned names or anything, just the tricks. Anyway, forget that. Take the ring. I want to show you how lucky it is. Vanish the ring with a reverse hammers flourish. Yeah. We don't get advantage because we still are wearing the chain shirt. I gotta get that thing off him. Oof. I think we still pass? Just barely. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Uh, heads. You can drop the act. I uh, don't know what you mean. This is a tinker's trash scam, a clumsy one. Well, uh, anyone can see that this was a modified war widow scam. Oh yeah. Oh, damn. No, please go on. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? Here's your ring. Let's trade. I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. We failed the perception check. He had something. Ring of infinite wishes. Ring of resistance to ants. Ring of the lecanesis. Ring of being really invisible. <laughs> uh, that's good. I, oh, blue dye, orange dye. I guess these are his potions. I'm surprised that they say dye and not like, uh, you know, potion of really, really cool powers. Tarbell's guide to distractions. All right, give me a second. All right. Well, I, I think, I think we're good here, actually. No. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Uh huh. Cool. <laughs> uh. 
observe her silently. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. It's a not a difficult check. Of course they're crocodile tears. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. <laughs> Relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. I love little stories like that. It, um, you know. Wait a minute, what do you mean whole? Can't use this right now. I wonder if I have to have a halfling in my group in order to, to use stuff like that. Well, anyway, I, I like the, I like the little stories. Some of my favorite stuff in in any kind of RPG. Please, last room. It is forbidden. All right, what we got going on here? We got a bear. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corvus judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip her down. Not really making a good case for yourself. Cut. <laughs> the sassy druid in the back saying, Yeah, that's right. He turned into a bear. What are you going to do now? Oh, I guess we're just going to, like, disperse silently. He turned into a bear. Talk to the bear. He makes bear sounds. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Come, Magwin. Give him a chance. You get back. All right. Uh, if it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go right, please. I don't want to. I don't like that last part. I, I, I'd rather use the use that to like break bread rather than just like flaunt, you know. Uh, what's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Corgus orders. Um, I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? And you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Nice. I assume this is the ritual taking place here. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm assuming we do not want to talk to them and distract them. Oh, is that how you pronounce that? Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue you were at the gates just now no when the goblins came you saw them up close oh no a few questions if you please there's no overstating my interest fine this is going to be a storyteller they're looking or a bi biographer now then. how would you describe that particular batch of goblins Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Common variety goblins led by a lasher and, and a flanked by booyags. Ah, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. Time was spent among books. I'm a student of the page. of lesser men but to each their own now, i mean you're getting experience right now if you don't mind. and the dragon they had marching in the rear was it of the brass or silver variety Dra there wasn't any dragon 
witnesses fail to notice the obvious drag on. Excuse me. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Volo. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I just realized who this is. This is the dude. This is the guy he basically writes all the monster manuals. I mean, he he doesn't, but I know he's a uh, he's quite a big name in the D and D scene. They they called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious, oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god of Maglaviet in favor of someone called the Absolute. Goblin superstition not worth the ink and parchment. Cleric of Helm, what do you think Maglubiet makes of this change? Oh, I imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in the regions, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you excuse me, I ought not to go. Astounding to me how deftly this game manages to avoid uh, the uncanny valley like everyone acts very naturally. It's it's kind of astounding um, Be careful goblins aren't known for the mercy Why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. I tell them. Yeah, I suppose every dungeon needs a dragon, huh? Bear sounds. Okay. Well, you just you just go ahead and be a bear. Miniature giant space hamster. Uh, isn't that a reference to a previous Baldur's Gate? I can't remember. These don't seem to have the uh, steel marker on them, so I'll be taking that. Um, okay, let's let's see if we can't find the, the the main the main man, the big cheese, the big the head honcho. Stone door that probably leads to the uh, underground again. Speak. What are you saying to that bird? Uh, I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. Oof. Okay, I guess I don't need to know. Not all enemies are outside our walls. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and take all your crops. It's fine. Trust me. Can we talk to Topaz? Bird sounds. If only I had speak with animal. I did want to make a druid. Almost with the explicit um, purpose of being able to talk to animals. Can't use that right now. Let's talk to Truffet. Sleepy bear sounds. Throw a fish next to the elevator. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. That's not going to work. I was kind of hoping it would be smart enough to wait for people to get on the elevator before it. That's uh, fine. Um, here. Okay, okay, there we go. Excuse me. I tried to hit the button, but I <clears throat> didn't make it in time. I think this is the squirrel that's been uh, making the rounds on 
various social networks. You know the one. Oh, okay. This is how we get up here. Not now. Please. Okay. Let's uh, have a look around. We have Nadira and uh, oh Wow, that was well timed Um, can we do a sneak attack? Hiding successful We can't do a ranged attack. Okay. Well, then we'll just hide over here then um, lost condition hiding. Well, bummer. Can we do it again? Oh, cool. Okay. Um, torch them. Nice. We'll run, we'll run forward. I'm also going to cast shield of faith on, uh, Nadira here. I have a funny feeling she can take a hit like um well she can't take a hit <laughs> that's what i'm assuming we're gonna do our first rush attack here Wah, nice pommel strike with advantage nice good stuff yeah run away you got it Um, this is Tav. Tav's got a new weapon to play with. What do you mean gr enlarge? When did we get enlarge? I don't seem to have that as a spell. It must be... Can we give it... Is it the battle axe that gives us this? What is... <laughs> Yo, what is, uh, what is allowing us to enlarge? I have to know. Inspect. I... What is... Where am I getting that? I have to... I, okay. Oh, let's get big. I want to get huge. Wow, he's just like... Slightly taller. He's he's still not t as tall as Shadowheart. Okay. <clears throat> well, you have to forgive me for ending... Uh, wasting that. Quotation marks. Sneak attack, 70%. Whatcha? Eight damage. Do a sneaky sneak. Um, torchy torch. Miss. Main hand attack. Oh, he's uh, put a poison on his weapon. We're going to do a lacerate. Swash. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Bugbear assassin, huh? Why Why are we trying to assess broken loot? Yo, why are they breaking loot still? You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus is Hey, is it is there any way to talk to me? Devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. What? Too bad. I earned it fair and square. Coin mistress, you've lost me. You almost seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Um Mind Flayer has abducted me and its ship went straight to Avernus. I guess that is a fairly difficult thing to sell to someone. <laughs> I literally just said I was kidnapped by space aliens and then plane shifted to hell. I mean, well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Yo, lady, you're making it really hard for me to feel good about saving you. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, all crimes forgiven.
Hmm. Interesting. I didn't really. I did. I. I mean, I. Pff, okay. Is, there's a dragon. Why is the? Why is it so out of focus? Uh, squint at the distant object. Focus the telescope on the distant object, trying to get a clear view. Fairly high DC for just focusing the telescope. Yo, move it! Move the telescope! You can do that, can't you? You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey. Hunting. Move the telescope to the left. The telescope points to the left. No kidding. Why is it out of focus again? Yo, my dude is useless. The telescope points to the right. What is happening over there? Okay, well, we're good here. I still need to meet the head honcho. The head cheese, the head of cheese. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed that the, we could have climbed up here, like, as soon as we entered the camp. I'm just, uh, I'm just exploring. I don't, I'm not going to take anyone's stuff. I guess we couldn't have used that elevator when we came in. Where, where is, where did I come here? How did I get here? Ah, the elevator's over here. So we still have to go over here and try and meet the big cheese. The head of cauliflower. Is this how the bugbear got there? That's quite the climb. I'm just, um, like, the environments in this game are so well designed. I didn't mean to do that again. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> You're testing my patience. You're talking to the bear. Carrick, Allier, Idol of Sylvanus. Inway, Elwyn, Apicusus, Apicusus, where's the dude? Again. Looking for a healer. Help me narrow the search. Find Nettie in her room, through the carved door, deeper in the grove. You're trying to prepare, for, or helping to prepare for the ritual? What happened to Halson? He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Uh oh. Master Halson did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing. But he never returned. I hope it wasn't one of the guys I killed. Can we talk to these lads? Mm, that's a big no. Alright, we're gonna have to go into the stone door, I think. Why can we climb up here? Prison the thief 
Okay. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Rath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. You know, I, I would like to say that she's acting rather um, shite. At the kid, but I mean, this is kind of how druids uh, druids are supposed to act in some ways, right? They they don't like outsiders, generally speaking. What's this girl's actual crime? Girl. You mean well, I mean that's a little overboard. Don't druids char cherish harmony? Jailing the girl disrupts nature's balance. Read Kaga's mind. That seems like a bold move. Oof, my intelligence is not good and it's a bad check. Predictably, I have failed. Let's roll again. <laughs> Oh. Okay. The devil sued chaos. She remains until the right is complete. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. Um. Your snake is prepared to kill this child. Do you want her death on your hands? Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, sif, Tila, to me. Hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holson would... Halson isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. What's the deal with the Shadowheart? What was her her business? Save Arabella. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. Hmm. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. Turn to other matters. What's the story with the odd look little artifact you have? What do you think all that's happened to us so uh, of all the, that's happened to us so far? You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles I suppose we'd go our separate ways not a slight on your company of course where would you go home Baldur's Gate there's someone waiting for me there someone I have to reach as soon as possible family a friend a lover How am I holding up in your estimations? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautilus. How can I do anything but sing your praises? 
Um, all right. Let's have a chat with Wrath. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Kaga seems dangerous. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? No one's looking for Halston, I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halston return home. Heck yeah, bud. Sounds like a real adventure. No need to fret, I'll find him. Sylvanas' blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halston is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Ah, uh, okay. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Damn. Oh, my savior. I wish you could have visited in better times. Nobody has so many friends as the man who has many cheese. All right. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here. We've got a quest. We've got more to explore. It's been a lot, a very dense episode of just exploring this town, but there's just a lot to see and it's, it's all pretty cool. Um, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.